And another one. That's it. But you know what? We're gonna take some magnetized ferret as well. Hey guys, and welcome back to more No Man's Sky. Today we're gonna go to our freighter. We're gonna do some base building on it, at least to get all the storage done. And then we're gonna go and check out how to get frigates. Now I have some basic pointers which I check out, you know, what to look for, what points to look for, how to gauge their initial level, how many expeditions they need, and so on. So we're gonna hopefully find a couple of good ones. And then we're going to have to find a way of getting salvage units for our freighter to get uh, the antimatter beam or whatever it's called to buy that upgrade. It's five units. And we're gonna try to do it through a very piratey sly way and hopefully not getting all the races pissed off at us in the process. So it should be a lot of fun. So anyway, but before we get started, let's go to Ogrimmar, our settlement. I haven't been in a long time. Um, I just wanna see what the resources are that I get and how they're piled up because I think I've spent several in-game days not in my settlement. So I don't know if it keeps adding and counting. I have no idea. So, I haven't worked actually on any projects lately in the settlement because we are making profit and the one thing that we're making a good profit with is the trade items so settlements give you two items they give you i think one item which you can use for crafting refining or whatever and then another item which you can use um for uh, trade which is just a trade item let's have a look here Let's check out our settlement. Um, yeah, we're not gonna do this yet. So yeah, oh, look at that. So I'm at 905 starboard. I don't even know what to do with this at this stage. I, I have no idea, so I'm just leaving it in there. Now these things I pick up, because you can see here, they're like 1.5 million. So I literally just head over here. I think it's here, let me see. And nope, that's someone's kitchen. There is supposed to be a workshop here somewhere, which I keep missing. And oh, over there, there's our little NPC in here. And we have a terminal in here. I didn't build that, 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 that was here. And we can just sell it right in here. There you go. And it's at it's at 52, 57% uh, um, demand. So hey, 2.2 million. Yeah, thank you very much. That's how I like to start a game. So, but yeah, let's go up to our frigate and have a look what we need to make all the storages and um, what else we can build like for the moment. Um, and then we want to increase our frigate size because uh, my single frigate is working. I can send it off on a mission, but it's only a one-star mission. It brings back very little resources. And I also want to go shopping for frigates and see how that works, so. So let's have a look and see what we can build. So we built the command center here and I haven't unlocked a lot of um, building blocks yet for the uh, freighter. I, I keep saying frigate by accident probably more than once. So if I do, uh, I apologize. What I want to do is I want to unlock, uh, build all these units. So we need magnetized ferrite and sodium. I think I have, how much magnetized ferrite do I have? I might have to go and start grinding some. I don't have a lot. So this can actually be turned into magnetized ferrets, so I'm not too worried about that. So that takes two to one, so it's not gonna give us too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect enough resources to be able to build all of these. I have a planet where I can mine magnetized ferret directly, so it should be very quick, and then we're gonna go from there. I think it's actually one of the planets I have already a base on. I think it's the barren one here. That one here should have magnetized ferrite on it, actually, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we ended up getting 733 magnetized ferry, which should be more than enough for all the storage. And then we got um, extra sodium. I'm not really sure if we needed sodium or sodium nitrate. So hopefully we have enough of that. Let me just double check what we need. The rooms need sodium. Oh, that's great, because 20 sodium is about 200 uh, sodium in total. So we're just gonna queue up some gear. There we go. I think it duplicate it doubles it. Yeah, so we are, we're fine. Like, we have enough. Okay, we're gonna let that run. Now the storage. There is an area already which we tested for storage, which I think is here in the back. And I think I'm gonna leave the storage there. So the way I understand it, all this space you see here is actually not open. This is rooms with. This is literally individual rooms which already have been built. So if you don't know No Man's Sky, um. 
you can actually destroy these rooms, yeah, which is pretty interesting. So if you go into here and uh, go into your freighter, go into room and then press C, you see these rooms, I can, I can delete all of them, like over here, yeah, just so we can see it. And it's silver and titanium, oh, actually, yeah, there you go. We got uh, tritium and silver back now. Yeah, this is how much it would have cost to build. So if we put that here now, um, freighter room C, I guess, this is, I suppose, what we got back. Yeah, there you go. And now it's built again. So this whole room would be just a blank wall when you get here. So when you get up here, you would probably just get here to a, a wall and that's it. So I find that very interesting, these building mechanics and um, how it does that. Because I believe you can have up to like 15 or 16 stories high of rooms. And I don't know what you want to build that would theoretically fill out all that space. I have no idea. So here's where I build one of the storage rooms, yeah? And here another one. So we already have two, so we have more than enough resources. This storage room here, I think, is... How do I know what number it is? Do you know what? We're going to destroy it again and build it all. Because I want to make sure I build it all in the right order. So we go zero. And we have to go one. You can see it on the right there. Just under my face cam, you can see the number. One. Two. Three. Oh, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we can make another room here as well. I didn't know that. Okay, let me just... Because um, that would be five, and then we can put five here. Yeah, that would make sense. And then we're going to put the other five here. I just fixed the number over there, so we're going to go... Ah, wrong number. Five. Six. Seven. Eight and nine. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. And that's it. There's no more. So we have all our storage now. So my storage that starts here with zero, that should have um, all my building materials in it. Or these craftables. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Absolutely fine. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize we can actually delete these guys here as well. We, yeah, I even delete the light. Because I want to make room here for... You know, maybe some plants, uh, some some farming things. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so now that the storage is done, we could craft a little bit more, but I don't want to get into refinement and farming just yet on the freighter because I still have to figure out farming in general. But one thing that I want to do is I want to get my freighter to install this. Oh, where is it? If we go to the upgrade control and we go to purchase upgrades, I want to unlock the matter beam next and the matter beam costs five salvaged frigate modules you get them from derelicts or you get them from frigate missions now the frigate mission is going to take an hour to come back and we're going to buy more frigates before we send them out on a mission however there is another way of getting them and i'm going to see if i can do this now without pissing off the rest of the galaxy there's a way of doing it you just have to be very careful so we make a safe point so let's head out in our spaceship and get some salvaged units, if we're lucky. We're lucky. We only need five, so we already have one, so we only need four more. So that should be interesting. Okay, so there's freighters in each system. Well, so far that I came across once you get past your status system. Now, we might get attacked by pirates, that's inevitable, but these freighters all have storages. And, oh, look at all these. Anyway, we should check out the frigates as well, by the way, and then we're gonna do what we came here to do. But basically, the gist of it is, is you go to a freighter, and you check out its uh, load. So each of those freighters, I don't know if this one actually has. It doesn't look like this freighter has, oh yeah, there you go. It says chromatic metal, platinum, gold, what was that, ionized cobalt. And every now and then, you see, one of them is actually um, salvage units. You shoot it, you take it. There's one right here. Now, again, this can get very risky, so the, the best thing is to really quickly shoot it and take it. Now, the sentinels don't like this, yeah? But the sentinels, sentinels I'm not too worried about, yeah? 
What I'm worried about is pirates. Uh, sorry, is um, the Gek actually attacking me and losing reputation. So, there we go, there's another one. And another one. That's it. But you know what, we're gonna take some magnetized ferret as well. Um, okay, and out we go. That's it, we're out. So, I'm not even gonna engage into any combat right now. Until I'm a little bit off um, away. Oh, and there's another fleet coming in. Nice. We're gonna, we might actually get some new uh, cargo here. Let's quickly check. How many did we get so far? We got three. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to take care of these guys and um, then we have to skedaddle. No, they're sentinels. Just don't shoot the frigates. If you shoot the frigates, you're gonna be in trouble with the, with the Gek or whoever owns this. Let's see, there we go, come on. Yeah, so we're just gonna fly off into the distance, whatever, escape them as much as we can. And uh, similar to being on a planet, you just let it cool down and once they've forgotten about you, that's it. I think you can call the anomaly now as well to actually escape um, before they find you again. There you go. And once you're on the surface here, you're fine, that's it. And now we're gonna head back out and we're gonna do it all again. What the freak is this? We just minded our own business. What the hell? I've never seen this before. Is this one of the derelict mission freighters without us having actually a mission? Did we just... Okay, okay, we have pirates. Hang on a second. Let's take care of the pirates. This is insane. I've never seen that before. Okay, you're being annoying. You're being annoying. Okay, let's go into first person. Here we go. Okay, that's you down. Okay, you're next. Where are you? There we go. Whoo, genie Mac, dude. Okay, that that, that that freighter is in dire need of repairs. So, we were in full pulse uh, engine mode and all of a sudden it's like, hey, object of interest, boom. I don't think it's a derelict freighter you can board. I think it's just a screwed up freighter. Did we get any treasure from it? If not, it's still a pretty cool random event that you just come across these things. Yeah, there's nowhere to land on it. Now, this is a three-star system with the Corvax, so I definitely have to be careful not to piss anybody off. And there's a lot more coming in. So, but it's a, also a very high traffic system, conflict system, so... Let's quickly check your cargo. Actually, maybe we can make a purchase beforehand. We want to buy things anyway, so we might as well. So let's have a look. So we inspect the frigate. And it's an industrial specialist. Oh, this is very good. Uh, seven expeditions. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna get this anyway. So I was doing a quick lookup, yeah? And the way I've written it down is there's like, there's a lot of people doing a lot of shit tons of research for months, like on this, yeah? Now, what happens is, as far as I understand, frigates can only level up to level 10, which is 55 expeditions. Unless that's changed, that's the information I got, yeah? 55 expeditions, level 10. Which means if you buy a level 10, sorry, if you buy a frigate which already has 55 expeditions, it won't grow anymore. It won't, that's it. It reached its max growth, yeah? That's how I understand. What I've kind of noted down is what you're looking for is anything between um, 0 and 14 expeditions and you want about 20 to 22 industry, like in the specialized category and the reason apparently you have to do this is because you can send up to five ships onto a mission and to get five stars um, in your mission as, a, as ships to put enough ships into a mission for five stars you need a hundred points and having five means 20 points each there you go you have your uh, 100 points yeah so what I'm looking for is um, not perfection but something in that ballpark so this one actually looks good so I'm gonna buy this one and oh criminal rating elite oh sweet we have an elite pirate coming in anyway we're going to check out more of the frigates and uh, more of the cargo of course 
of the good people who sell us their frigates. So we haven't found another frigate, but we found this. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, and I'm out. Let's see, do you have any goodies here that I could care about while we're trying to escape? No, you don't have anything, do you? Oh, gold. 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 Okay. We're gonna he we're gonna head here to the space stations if we can, and uh, hopefully we survive. And then we come back out like nothing happened. And they should actually prohibit you from landing if you do this type of stuff. They should say no, you messed up. You're not allowed to land here. <laughs> and another one. So we might as well get all of them. We should be okay getting all of them. Oh, overheat. That's not good. And let's go. And we're out. And we're safe. Good. So now we actually have two more, which means we have six, um, which is great. So, and we got no reputation penalty. And this took in total at least, at, at maximum, the same amount of time as doing a derelict freighter. Unless you can just blast through a derelict freighter or something. But it saves you the five million and... Um, I know you get one free from Helios, uh, but it saves you the half an hour. So you can mix it up, you know, every now and then do this, maybe do a derelict freighter. And these guys just don't seem to remember you. As soon as we get back out here, they're fine. So we're gonna go back out there and see if we can score another couple of frigates from there. <laughs> we have another ship here, which is an exploration specialist uh, from the same guys we borrowed the units from. <laughs> now, I don't know if time's damaged or anything has anything to do with um, if it gets damaged every time or not, I have no idea. But it has 20 points in exploration, which is really good because that's what I'm looking for. And it only has two expeditions, which means it's basically a level one. And it has 20 points, which is again, an another perfect fit. So, and it had 21 successful encounters, nice. So we're gonna buy that as well. And um, we have a lot more money there, so we can see if there's any more to buy. So here we have another one, 20 points in exploration, um, expedition three, so that's pretty much what I'm looking for. So we have a few exploration now. Let's see what he is. He's a trade specialist. Oh, 21 points, five expeditions. That's actually perfect as well. Oh, nice. So we're trying one more system. So I, this is my last uh, three-star system. And we're gonna try that out. There's another couple of frigates here. Let's see. It's a rich system, a wealthy system, so we should get a couple of offers. Oh, wow! And these guys just popped in as well. So we're going to... Oh, ho, ho, ho. these guys are eager to sell. Um, okay. Okay, fine. Convinced me. I'll check you out first. So I'm gonna check these guys out, and that's the last set I'm gonna check out. And then we'll see how many we bought and how much we got. Yeah, so this one is only 19. It's level 1, but... Again, 20 would be perfect, but I'm okay. This this one point, I'm not gonna miss. It's, again, I'm not min-maxing or anything. I'm just trying to go roughly. Of course, if you want to min-max, you want more points uh, for, for the first levels. I think this is our first combat ship now here. So this is a combat specialist, 20 points, four expeditions, which is a level two and 21 points would be kind of what you want in that at least, but I'm, again, perfect not gonna complain about that for me for my purposes all i care about is low level and at least 20 points so so another industrial one uh, which is very good 19 not bad expedition 2 so you wanted that probably at 20 but again for me it's absolutely fine and we have another lovely combat one at 19 which is very young level and we're getting attacked before oh actually can we check this one here before we have to give up I don't think we can check you in combat, can we? No, we can't, okay. So this one here looks like exceptionally good, if I'm not mistaken. He has only six expeditions, which would, would make him a level two which means 21 points is really what you're looking for, but 26 points, that is actually pretty intense. If I'm not mistaken, that is extremely good. So we're definitely gonna buy this one. That is, wow. 
So we have one more to check here, I think, and then after that we are out. So we're getting very lucky tonight. Um, combat 19, now this is 15 expeditions, it's a level 4, it should have at least 20 points, like I mean, uh, 23 preferred, like um, at this stage probably 24, 25, so this is very low. But I think we got enough for tonight. So let's head back and see actually what we got. I have no idea what we ended up with. Um, but we bought a good few ships, a uh, good few frigates. We actually can see all the frigates we bought. That is amazing. Oh, look at those. That is so cool. Oh, let me just see. Oh, wow. And that's actually another... Um, this one is actually another group of freighters and frigates okay just quickly checking them out i mean you know it can't hurt we are here our freighters here so we might as well you know give them a courtesy visit and see if they want to sell any oh hello want to sell any of their frigates and you know make them part of a wonderful uh, group of frigates that we already have might as well <laughs> so we found actually another good one like uh, only 10 expeditions and 23 points in its specialization which is amazing <laughs> they have tuned engines minus four expedition fuel cost. Well, it's all positive. Don't care. 3.5 million. We have that money. Yeah, that is a nice sight. This is all our frigates that we have here. Look at them. Nice. Okay, we have some hostels coming in. We're going to have to get in. We're going to enjoy that fuel later. There we go. So let's check out our fleet. Now we have a fleet. Now it can be called a fleet. So we have, um, we're gonna see them in a second. So let's say we want to do um, a three-star combat, for example, if we theoretically could do that. I don't know, I have no idea. So, but let's click on it. And when we assign ships, we obviously want to assign all the combat ships. So if we look at here, that's a roll combat. It's 19 points, combat 20 points. Um, I think we only have two combat, is it? Or oh, we have another page. Yeah, so if we only have two combats, we wouldn't be able to probably take the required points because that's only 39. I mean, we don't have to admit to commit to it, so let's just assign these and see. So frigate total, 29 critical ships. So we are at a fleet rating of three. Now, but from what I understand is you want to be at least one star higher than the mission is, especially at the higher level missions, yeah? But yeah, I'm gonna send out probably a two star mission would sound more like what I should be focusing on. So let's do industrial. Let's get out all our industrial fighters here. Let's sign all three of them. It levels all of them up. Go to the next page. Do we have another one? No. I don't know if it now, you can send up to five ships. So I don't know if, for example, you say, should fill the slots with other things you don't send on missions just to level them up. So you're gonna say, hey, we're gonna send the trade one. They suck at, at industrial but as you can see we don't need any more we have that covered so the other ships could potentially just be added for leveling i don't know if that's something you should be doing or not or if they can get damaged but i'm going to um, add the combat ships because we're not going to do a combat mission so i'm going to add those two combat ships to it there you go and hopefully they get some levels and i hope they get also combat experience even though they're going on the industrial mission i'm not sure i have no idea so we have the fuel, so let's do it. So we want to build another fleet command, actually, um, so that we can send out two expeditions at the same time. So let's put one right here. And we theoretically should be able, so this is my current fleet. I love the way you can actually see how many ships we sent. That is so awesome. And let's see if we can send a second one. So this is a balanced expedition with a difficult rating of one star. So I'm gonna send I guess if it's balanced, I don't know. Send exploration, these guys, and... Oh, I wanted to send one of the other ones, actually. Let me see if I can change that. Yeah. So I wanted to send the trade. Oh, no, we have two trade. Okay. I want to send the lower level, though. There you go. So, yeah, this changed to a two-star difficulty now. I don't know why that is. I'm not sure, but we're going to send it anyway. And we learn from it. So if anything comes back majorly broken, then, well, that's just the way it is. And now we have one frigate sitting at home all alone. Oh, okay. This is our room, I guess, which just decided to glitch out. 
Okay, it is there. There it is. I'm afraid to walk into it, but let's do a manual save now. And um, there we go. Nice. So one is nine hours, I think. The other one is 15 hours. I have no idea. Let's actually double check quickly on both of them. So this one here, let's speak with the commander. Corvax commander, five hours, 46 minutes. Inspect ships. We can see what the status is of all of them. You see difficulty and fleet rating. And this one is how many hours? I think that was nine hours or something. I love the way they look. Yeah, nine hours, seven minutes. And again, this started off as a difficult rating of one. I have no idea why it went to two after we put ships in, but we can see here, um, uh, stats of them they all look fine still and yeah so we're gonna check back in 10 hours i guess um and see where they are so which means we're not gonna do that today and now for what we were working towards earlier let's purchase that upgrade let's get that matter beam which is the first upgrade i supposed to get there we go and then we can hunt down more frigates to get more upgrade points so let's go into our freighter Put it right in here, matter beam, boom, boom, boom. And now we can access, I believe, our frigate from anywhere, which is great. So we should be able to access all the storage, um, our storage from our planet. So let's save it. That's absolutely beautiful. So we are now in our base at home which is not even in the same system as our settlement. Our settlement is completely different. Actually, I think it could be in the same system. Let's go in a completely different system and see if we can still access it. Okay, so we're now in the Euclid galaxy, which is not even near us. So let's see what we can, if we can access our freighter from here. No, we can't. I don't think so. Yeah, no, we can't. It seems that you can access your freighter from anywhere in the same system. So it doesn't matter which planet I'm on. I mean, this is already a great bonus, yeah? I don't actually have to fly up to my freighter. Even if I have to call my freighter every time to, to, to above me, that, that's fine. I don't have an issue with that. Um, but at least now we can access always our uh, inventory. And we can access our inventory from our base, which is on this planet, on Gunosk. But our settlement and our freighter is actually in the orbit of this. Um, planet or near this planet so it seems that anywhere in the system we can access the freighter which is great i'm gonna leave this episode here this was very exciting i think we got a lot of stuff done uh, with the freighter and the frigates and we learned a lot along the way as well and had a little bit of a heart attack when our command center disappeared so yeah i don't trust this freighter i don't know if i want to build anything on it but it's all back when you reloaded which was great anyway i hope you had a good time with the episode if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time until then as always switch pass and happy gaming <laughs>